Integrating apps with other systems allows you to build powerful applications that read data from and write data to many different types of external data sources. Before connections are included in your app design, it's necessary to define the connections and actions in the Connections Dashboard, outside the scope of this tutorial, but covered in the Connection Dashboard tutorials. During this tutorial, we will look at how a user can search for a record by looking up an external database and then pass data from that record into an app. We will trigger the lookup by pressing a button, but it can be triggered by any other event such as text or picture being clicked. From the integration toolbox, we use the connect and search command. Connect and search behavior will permit the user to search for and then take data from a specific record in the database. Select the connection and action from the available list. Notice that the Properties panel populates with the parameters set up for the select action. The Search or Lookup feature will use a pop-up dialog box where the user can search on specific fields and see data from those or other fields to determine which record to select. Select these features in the checkboxes on the Command Properties left side. In the Send Parameters Search section, check the boxes you want to allow the user to search. In the Return Parameters Show section, check the boxes for the data fields to be displayed to the user. Finally, for each record to be populated, click on the Target column and select the field in the app to be populated. Let's now preview the logic to see how it works. Note that the lookup box displays the two search fields available. Initially, we will ignore the search option and click the button to return all records. Select a record and click OK. Note that the data populates to the fields on the app. All is selected in the command properties. Let's try it again, but we will use the search feature this time. We will trigger the lookup again and enter some text in the last name search box to filter the data returned. Do note that when we define this action, we specify that the last name parameter would permit short name searches. As you can see, the return data only shows those with the last name beginning with D. This example is just one way we can use connections. We will cover more examples in different tutorials.